Hello and welcome guys. Today is another topic about Linux boot issues. Today what I'm going to show you when you face kernel panic related error when you reboot your Linux system. So possible reason I would say when you get kernel panic error is the main you have to check your kernel. Your kernel is probably not installed properly or the initrd image related to your kernel is not created properly or for some reason you have installed some rec uh, recent modules or in windows world we call them as drivers and you have not regenerate your initrd image then you could also get kernel panic error okay so and I have faced this kind of error, contemplative error in the scenario of recent patching. So whenever uh, people patch the system and they reboot the system, they usually face this issue. So why you have issues when you patch your system and you reboot? Because the main reason is like, like it uh, said, you probably have not installed your initrd image so what is the reason behind your initrd image is not created properly it can be because of your slash boot partition the slash boot partition you have to ensure that there is enough space to create a new initrd Im image so in case if you do not have initrd image uh, if, if you do not have space in slash boot partition then your init rd image will not going to create properly and due to that you may not you may not notice and you reboot the system and you will have end up with that kernel panic issues so before reboot or after applying the patch you just need to ensure that slash boot has enough space and your init rd image is installed properly and also you have to ensure your slash temp and slash usr so this two file system has enough space to apply your patches so if you are ensuring that you would not probably face the issue of creating initrd image okay so let me just reboot it So here you can see there are kernel information in menu prompt. So first one is about the kernel and the version it has mentioned and the other you can see there is something about rescue. I will tell you what is that. So let me just boot the system normally and when I try to boot it I see an error saying that initrd image not found. Okay so and again if I press enter you can able to see here there is an error there is a big error you can see and above here you can see kernel panic not syncing so this is the kernel panic error so now how you are going to troubleshoot it so first thing what you have to do is you just have to reboot your system again and for your information I'm running RHL 7.3 so once you reboot it you just have to go to this rescue prompt here and in RHL 6 or the earlier version we do not have this option and we had to boot our system with any uh, Linux version and uh, we need to go to rescue mode and there we need to troubleshoot but in RSCL 7 we already have this built in in your OS so you just need to ins go with this rescue image and you have to boot your system so let me just select I just selected that and I'm just trying to boot my system now and if I just press escape I can see my system is trying to boot up
it will going to take hardly 5 or 10 seconds okay so my system is up let me just log in right so let me just open a terminal here and increase the font size so now if I just do a unm minus a or r I can see the same kernel information and other information about the kernel and when it has built so how the system came up if I just go to slash boot and do an ll here I can able to see there is an init rd image this is for my kdump, kdump image and there is one more here you can see init ramfs rescue image so I have booted my system with this init rd image so it is, not, it is nothing but a temporary uh, init rd image if when you have issue something similar like kernel panic then you would be able to boot your system it is saying a rescue so it is similar like whatever the action you you would have done in earlier uh, distribution in rescue mode you, s you would be able to do the same thing here so this is the init rd with this it has booted and the kernel so now you would be able to do any action as you do in rescue mode so now the problem is why my system end up with the kernel panic and it was unable to boot because of the init rd image so init rd image is there for kdump and for rescue but for my kernel it is not there if i do uh, unm minus r this is my kernel version so with this kernel if i see here related init rd image i do not have it so what I have to do is I have to cre create a new init rd image. So for that there are two commands if you are familiar with mk init rd command you can also use that we used to use this command in earlier distribution in RHL 6 or 5 and if you just do an help here you would be able to see an example how you are going to create an init rd image so here you can see init rd image you have to specify your current kernel version and also your kernel version here and the last extension here is with dot img that means image so you can use this command and also there is one more command called dracut so you can also use this dracut command which is a new and it has a better a functionality with compared to M M mk init rd so you can also use dracut command to create your init rd image so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use dracut command and specifying the file under slash boot and I'm going to specify the same thing because this is the image I need for my kernel so let me just remove here and minus f is for preloaded modules you can see here minus f option and let me just specify the kernel version here that's it now if I just run this command it should create a new init rd image since this file is a little bigger it will going to take a minute probably or 30 second
it is taking a little time than expected anyway so it is done so now I got a prompt here and if I just clear the screen and do an LL again I would be able to see a new image is created so this is a new image created so now if I just reboot the system I should not be having that kernel panic error and my system should boot up normal Okay, so my system is back and if I just log in with root and I would be able to see my desktop here. So this is how guys need to troubleshoot kernel panic error and you have to ensure when you patch your system you have those prerequisite like slash boot usr and slash temp those three file system has enough space otherwise the most likely you will end up with this init rd issues so i believe you like the video and this video is informative for you if you feel this video is informative then please Subscribe my channel and also hit like. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have a good day.